Classically Dad. Welcome to the channel. The ad hominem fallacy. Ad hominem means to the man. In an argument, when a person criticizes his opponent rather than the argument itself, he commits the ad hominem fallacy. There are two types of ad hominem attacks. Ad hominem abusive is an argument that insults the opponent. Sarah Palin, taking aim at your decision to restrict uh, use of nuclear weapons, uh, your pledge not to strike nations, non-nuclear nations, uh, who abide by the non-proliferation treaty. Here's what she said. She said, it's unbelievable. No other administration would do it. And then she likened it to kids on a playground. You know, that's kind of like a, a getting out there on, on the playground, a bunch of kids ready to fight, and, and one of the kids saying, go ahead, punch me in the face, and I'm not going to retaliate. Your response? Uh, I really have no response to that. The last I checked, Sarah Palin's not much of an expert on uh, nuclear uh, issues. President Obama did not respond to Sarah Palin's argument. He rather tried to discredit her by calling into question a lack of experience. Right now today as a candidate, he supports federal taxpayer funding for Planned Parenthood. I disagree with him on that. That's a matter you of principle and I'll, and I'll tell you. You are the single biggest liar. You probably are worse than Jeb Bush. You are the single biggest liar. All right. This guy lied, let me just tell you, this guy lied about Ben Carson when he took votes away from Ben Carson in Iowa. And he just continues. This guy will say anything. Nasty guy. Now I know why he doesn't have one endorsement from any right. of his colleagues. All right, right. John, I, I get Cruz, to respond. Senator pick from the buffet there. He's a nasty guy. When Donald Trump was accused by Senator Cruz, his response was to call him a liar and give multiple examples of why he should be considered a liar. He never broached the original accusation. Ad hominem circumstantial is an argument where a person tries to discredit his opponent because of his background or self-interest in the matter at hand. I think, I think it's fair to say that this is the most restrictive law of its kind in America, which is why it barely squeaked by in the Alabama Senate 25 to 6, <laughs> with all 25 votes cast in favor coming from Republican men. In this clip, Stephen Colbert draws attention to the fact that the 25 votes to end abortion in Alabama were all cast by men. The background of a person does not discredit the validity of an argument. Ad hominem abusive is an argument that insults the opponent. Ad hominem circumstantial is an argument that tries to discredit his opponent because of his background or self-interest in the matter at hand. The two quo qui fallacy, pronounced two quo qui. When a person commits the two quo qui fallacy, they fail to attack the argument and instead claim that a rival's opinion should be void because of hypocrisy. Two quo qui is Latin for you too or you also. In effect, a person is saying to his rival, you also do the same thing you're arguing against. Clearly, it's time for a new policy, one defined by two simple rules. We will buy American and we will higher American. Well, behind that proclamation, however, is the Trump family's history of outsourcing almost all of its own products, manufacturing. Randy K. tonight has more. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. From the day he became president, that was his promise. But what about all those Trump products apparently outsourced to more than a dozen other countries, including Bangladesh, Turkey, India, and Vietnam, even countries that Donald Trump himself has railed against? In this clip, rather than attack the president's idea of a policy which encourages citizens to buy from America first, they attack the president's hypocrisy in using foreign countries to produce his company's products. So Sanders and Como attended these rallies, but they didn't go alone. They were escorted by bodyguards, paid for by you, who went to protect them. Those bodyguards were armed, of course, with guns. Como's bodyguards will have to carry more than 10 rounds in their magazines. Now, if you wanted to protect yourself in the same way in New York, you'd be thrown in prison, and some people, of course, already have been. In this clip, Tucker Carlson does not argue against his rival's anti-gun opinions. He instead attacks Bernie Sanders and Andrew Cuomo for the hypocrisy of supporting restrictions on the public's access to guns 
while hiring armed security to protect themselves. The two quoque we fallacy is when a person claims that a rival's opinion should be void because the rival is a hypocrite. The genetic fallacy. The genetic fallacy is also known as the ad fontum fallacy. Fontum is a Latin word which means fountain. Genetic comes from the Greek word genesis. Genesis and fountain are words related to the beginning or the source of something. The genetic fallacy is an attack on the beginning or the source of an argument. A person who commits the genetic fallacy will ignore the argument that is posed and instead focus on the source from which it came. I have had horrible rulings. I've been treated very unfairly by this judge. Now, this judge is of Mexican heritage. I'm building a wall, okay? I'm building a wall. I am going to do very well with the Hispanics, the Mexicans. So everybody. no Mexican judge could ever be involved in a case well, that involves you? Uh, he's a member of a society where, you know, very pro-Mexico, and that's fine. It's all fine. But Except I think, that you're calling into I question his heritage. I think he should recuse himself. Because and he's then Latino. You also... In this clip, President Trump claims that a judge has ruled against him simply because the judge is of Mexican heritage. What if you're wrong? Well, what if I'm wrong? I mean... Anybody could be wrong. We could all be wrong about the flying spaghetti monster and the pink unicorn and the flying teapot. Um, you happen to have been brought up, I would presume, in the Christian faith. You know what it's like not to believe in a particular faith because you're not a Muslim. You're not a Hindu. Why aren't you a Hindu? Because you happen to have been brought up in America, not in India. If you'd been brought up in, Indo in India, you'd be a Hindu. If you were brought up in... in um, Denmark in the time of the Vikings, you'd be believing in Wotan and Thor. If you were brought up in, in classical Greece, you'd be believing in, in Zeus. If you were brought up in Central Africa, you'd be believing in the great juju up the mountain. In this clip, Richard Dawkins is asked, what if you're wrong? In essence, he is being asked, what if there is a God? Dawkins ignores the question and argues that the source of this person's belief system is their Christian upbringing. The genetic fallacy is when a person ignores the argument and instead attacks the source. Please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. It's so nice when you share. Thanks for visiting Classically Dad.